Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to identify a linear function from the shape of a graph and the degrees of an equation. Let's start by defining a linear function. A linear function is just a function whose graph is a straight line. Let's take a look at an example. We want to know if it is a function and if it is a straight line. We can see that it is a straight line, but is it a function? Recall that if it is a function, it must pass the vertical line test. If you can draw a vertical line through two points on the graph, then it is not a function and it does not pass the vertical line test. Let's draw a few lines. As you can see here, all of the vertical lines drawn here pass through one point on the graph. So it is a function. Since it is both a straight line and a function, this graph does represent a linear function. Let's take a look at another one. Drawing some lines, we see that it passes the vertical line test. So it is a function, but it is not a straight line. So it is not a linear function. And for our last example, we see that it is not a straight line. And since it doesn't pass the vertical line test either, it is not a function. The only linear function we see here is the first graph on the screen. Now that we can identify a linear function from a graph, let's take a look at how to identify one from an equation. Below are two equations, which, if any, are linear functions. Since we just learned how to identify a linear function from a graph, let's create a graph. We will make a table of values and then graph the equation on the coordinate plane. First, we will choose a few values for x. I'll stick with 0, 1, 2, and 3 because they are easy. We can find the values for y by plugging in each value of x into the equation. 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9. Each pair of values in the table becomes an ordered pair for the graph. So we plot the points 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, and 3, 9. Drawing a line through these points, we see that it is not a straight line, and therefore the equation does not represent a linear function. OK, how about the next one? We will choose 0, 1, 2 and 3 again for our x values. Let's figure out the y values by plugging them into our equation. 2 times 0 minus 1 equals negative 1. 2 times 1 minus 1 equals 1. 2 times 2 minus 1 is 3. And 2 times 3 minus 1 is equal to 5. We will now plot these points on the coordinate plane. Drawing a line through these points, we see that it is a straight line. It also passes the vertical line test. Therefore, the equation y equals 2x minus 1 does represent a linear function. In general, a linear function can be written in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. The degree, or exponent, of both variables x and y must be 1. And if you didn't already know, if a variable does not have an exponent, it is assumed that the degree is 1. Again, if the variable does not have an exponent showing, the exponent is known to be 1. Once exponents are in involved in an equation, such as y equals x squared in our last example, the graph is no longer linear. OK, it's your turn. Identify the graphs and equations that represent a linear function. Alright, let's take a look. Out of the graphs, only b and c represent linear functions because they are straight lines and they pass the vertical line test. a is not a straight line and so it is not a linear function. Let's take a closer look at the equations. In D, I see that x has a degree that is not 1, therefore I know right away that it does not represent a linear function. In E, each variable only has a degree of 1, which is good, 
but it is not in the form y equals mx plus b. This doesn't mean it's not a function, but just to be sure, let's manipulate this equation by adding 3 to both sides of the equation. This gives us y equals 2x plus 3, which is in y equals mx plus b form, and therefore it is a linear function. Lastly, take a look at f. The degree of each variable is 1. However, it does not appear to be in slope-intercept form. In this case, we can manipulate the equation by adding 0 to the end. We did not change the value of the equation, and it is now in slope-intercept form. It is a linear function. In summary, we can confidently say that a graph represents a linear function if it is a straight line, and it passes the vertical line test. We can also say that an equation is a linear function if the degrees of both x and y are 1, and it can be written in the form y equals mx plus b. Good job! Mm -hmm.